Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Early morning, my Tuesday, your Saturday. I'm in the customer parking lot at work. I'm only gonna be here for a few minutes as I do this short morning vlog. Then I have to go and park where all the employees are supposed to park. And that's outside of the parking lot area for customers. Got a little bit of light coming in, so I figured I'd do this front-facing video with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Uh, first, I wanna give a shout out to Robert Clark for sending over this uh, deal alert. Go over to Straight Talk's website. Um, they're offering the Samsung Galaxy S8. It doesn't say S8 Plus, just says S8 for $659 right now. And it will include, while supplies last, the mail-in rebate for the VR set. Okay, that's the Samsung Galaxy S8. Doesn't mention the S8 Plus for 659 smacks over at Straight Talk. Thank you, Robert, for sending over that deal alert. Um, briefly, wanted to touch on a few areas. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this on the way home today when I vlog or maybe in a live stream. I'm not sure yet, it depends on how my day goes. Okay, so I'm gonna take off my glasses this way. Um, you can see me a little bit easier. You there? My eyes are, are almost shut from the glare of the lights out there and my, my uh, LG V20 down here. Um, so check it out. Let's see if I can get some of that glare out. Wow. There we go. Well, I don't know. Um, I wanted to address some issues with my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, and then I'll talk about this later again, but I just want to throw it out there really quick before time goes on with this device that I've now had going on about three solid days. Um, first of all, it's a beautiful device. Great display, great speaker. I don't care what anybody says. I love the speaker on this device. Only one, but it works great when listening to music, when I'm watching movies, listening to the audio quality. It's I love it. Okay, a lot of great things. The wireless charging, the IP68 certified water resistant and all that. Everything's, I mean, but more importantly, the call quality messaging and performance and battery life is there. Even though to some battery life may not be the best for me and how I'm using my device, it is working for me. Okay, I don't have a gazillion apps on here. I treat my devices like a Nexus device. I don't have a lot going on, but what I do have there, I utilize a lot and I utilize it um, all the time and I use my devices heavy, especially during the reviewing process. Um, so with that being said, if I'm only getting five hours, five and a half hours battery life, I'm, I'm cool with that. If I have to plug my device in, this isn't what my experience was with the Sony Xperia XA Ultra, which was not as good as, you know, that was, but it was so many great things going on with that device that I was still willing to plug her in and not complain about that issue, okay? Five, five and a half hours, that's that's really good battery life for me. What, I don't know what you're getting, but we're, we're individuals set apart from each other with our devices and how we use them. So don't compare you to me, I just give you those those um, numbers of screen on time, those hours, and through my experiences, and then you kind of look and see what you get with yours as far as what you're gonna do with your device. Um, so I'm, I'm cool with all of that. I use my devices for creating content for this channel. Now I'm gonna talk about the two latest devices that I brought in, the LG G6, the LG V20, both doing awesome for me when it comes to creating content, especially with shooting video for the team, my Project 13. That's very, very important to me. If you are not doing what I'm doing, this may not be an issue, okay? So just wanna make sure you understand that. The other day, shooting a front-facing video while I was driving one of my days off, and there was a tad bit of focus hunting going on. Just a little bit. And it might have been Robert Clark who said this information back, and said, he said that it was focus hunting, and it was probably because it was like the steering wheel was getting its attention, so it was going out of focus and coming back in. And, and my, my reply to that was, well, my G6 doesn't do that and my V20 doesn't do that. So I don't understand. So I watched the video again and I noticed a little bit slight of focus on it. Okay, it wasn't that big of a deal, but it was still doing something that I wasn't getting from my two latest devices. Okay, does that make sense? So, um, man, my eyes start to hurt after a while, not wearing my glasses. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glare on in there. See that? <laughs> Um, let me switch the camera a little bit over this way. All right. Um, so that's kind of annoying to me because I'm not used to seeing that on 
those two devices. And I used the Samsung Galaxy J7 a lot for creating content before I uh, gave that to my boy. And um, I didn't have an issue with that either with that device. So, but as far as the two devices that I picked up before the S8 Plus, I can depend on the quality of what I'm getting from shooting video with those two devices without having to worry about that. Um, and then yesterday I was shooting a video 1080p 60 frames per second on the way home from work. Didn't realize that I only had 10 minutes to use the 1080p 60 frames per second. And then the device shuts itself. It gives you 10 minutes and then that's it. Then you have to restart the recording process. To me, personally, when creating content, when I'm driving, when I'm car vlogging, which is one of my favorite areas, what I do here, that really irritated me because I don't have time to... I have to pay attention and focus on the road and other drivers. If I can't do that, then I, I shouldn't be car vlogging. Um, so the device shut itself off after 10 minutes and I was just talking away and then realized it at a stoplight that it was shut off. And then I restarted it, but then I decided to delete the whole project. But before deleting, I looked at the video quality, which I really want you to understand that the video quality of what you're seeing is beautiful. It's gorgeous. The S8 Plus shooting great video. Here's the problem. It goes out of focus for 15, 20, 30 seconds, and then it refocuses itself. It's not like focusing. It's not like going in and out like it did in the front facing video. I don't know if it even does it right there. So let me know if it's even doing it in this video. Um, but it went out of focus a couple different times for a period of time, and then it came back. And again, when the quality, when it was just in focus, the quality of what you were seeing was beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm not talking about taking pictures. I'm just talking about shooting video with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. That bothers me because again, I'm creating content and I want a device with a video shooter that's going to be dependable. My LG G6 and for sure my LG V20, for sure. That's my top notch content creating device for my project 13. I do not have to worry about that. At this point, nothing has happened for me to say, oh, that bothers me. And, and, and that's concerning to me when you spend $850 on a device on, and in, that, in those specific areas, that's gotta be there with a Samsung device. These devices are known to have some of the best cameras whether you're taking a pic or shooting video, that shouldn't, in my mind, that shouldn't be going on. There needs to be a software update for the camera. There needs to be a fix for this. I hope that there's others who are discovering this when shooting video are sending that information out. Samsung gets a hold of it. Samsung gives you a quick fix because obviously it's going on. Now, I understand that there's going to be a lot of perks on a Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus that the LG G6 or the LG V20 aren't going to have. It's going to be a give and take. It's depending on what you want. Maybe you don't even touch the, the you know, your device to, as far as going to use it for shooting video. Maybe you don't take a lot of pics. It's not a big deal in your, in your thinking. And that's great then. Okay, this is me I'm talking about. This is for what I do here for all of you and, um, well, and as a team. So I'll be talking about this a lot more later in a live stream, uh, maybe uh, maybe today, tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to depend on the S8 Plus for creating content in those areas that I've depended on the LG V20 since picking it up and the LG V6. And when you look at what I picked up the LG V20 for, I understand it was over $700 at one point. But now it's under five or around four. I got it for 360. When you look at the LG G6 for 650 smacks and you're looking at an $850 device, I should not be having these issues. Okay, I'm just gonna put it out there as blunt as possible. This is why we review devices. This is why we bring you this information. Again, it may not be a big deal to you or it may be a big deal to you. But when you're paying this kind of money, it should be a big deal, my opinion. Um, the other thing is Bixby to me is not practical. I've been trying to use it. Um, my Google Assistant, I get way more out of that 
feature and my Google page that gives me all my news feed to whether it's my local weather, weather around the world, uh, news locally, news around the world, sports. Um, it knows my, my, my likes uh, as far as when it comes to media and music. It gives me everything I need every day. It refreshes itself and I get everything I want. And right now, Bixby is not. The thing that's bothering me about that button being where it's at on the left-hand side that even though I most of my devices have the power button on the right-hand side, I'm still mistaking it as a power button. So I'm going when I click it, I'm going into Bixby and I'm not actually turning off my device. The fingerprint sensor on the back, yeah, I understand it can be annoying. I am learning to use it by using my left hand and I just kind of quickly turn and touch and turn on. And I'm getting used to that, but I can see how that could be an annoyance for some, maybe not all. And maybe most of you are going to end up using the iris scanner. Um, or And I have glasses, so it's not been working. I've been trying to set it up. I'm not having a, any, uh, um, any positive outcome with that. Um, but I do have a pattern that I have set up on the lock screen. So it's either turning it over using my left hand to, to get that going or the, or the pattern that I got on the front of the device. So um, not a big deal there, just a little bit of an annoyance. But I think the biggest thing is, you know, in shooting video, having those, um, those issues for me is a big deal. Um, the Bixby button, uh, where it's located and what it's offering me right now, not practical at all. Should have had an option to disable that. Samson really should have had an option to disable that and actually giving you an op option to have that Bixby button be a second power button or something, or just a dedicated camera button. I don't care. From down below, you know, click, click. I, yeah, because we hold our devices like that. Power button's on this side, so you would just click it. That's just throwing that out there. But I'm going to be talking about this more because I know not a lot of you watch these morning vlogs. And I think I'm going to get more attention if I talk about it during the day as well. But I wanted something... Um, I wanted to throw something out there for you to think about and where I'm coming from with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. At this point, paying $850 with areas that are not settling well with me. And again, for the majority of the device so far, aesthetically, media-wise, audio-wise, performance, call, it's all there. But when you have these other areas that are really valid and important to an individual like me, that can be enough to say, hmm, did I make the right choice? And you hate to think that way because there's so much on this device that is so cool. It's so there and it, and like I said, you may not need your device like I need it and for what I need it for. So it's, you're, you're gonna say, well, I don't understand that because to me, everything's just right. I don't take a lot of pics. I don't shoot a lot of video, not a big deal. Then that's great, then it's for you. I'm gonna to have to play with the device more, especially in that area. Um, all the settings are set up just the way I would have them on the other devices. I'm gonna tinker around, um, but I'll be doing another video on the way home and I'm gonna mention all this again, not all of this, but I want you to just mainly watch if any of that going out of focus and finding itself again is going on. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I, 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 love, I love what they have done with this small form factor when it comes to the aesthetic, um, body the quality build and the display i mean super amoled display that's the 6.2 inch display is just gorgeous um enjoying my media on it no issues there whatsoever and everything else is doing fine i'm i'm the five hours five and a half hours heavy usage of battery life is sufficient for me it may not be for some because i know there's devices out there that have better battery life but for me, it's working great. I'm happy with that. If I need to plug in a device once a day, I'm cool with that, man. Again, it's just me. It's just me, man. All right. I'm going to drink some coffee. Hopefully, you enjoyed a little bit of this time. I wanted to throw that out there. Because as, as excited as I am about this device, I have to be honest and picky in the areas that I am looking for in a device for me right that's what it comes down to so we'll see we'll see I have about 20 days to decide if this is an area that I can figure it out or maybe there's a soft a quick software update I don't know maybe it's just my device I don't know I don't know but we'll see again 
the first couple days of videos, a lot of excitement there for me. And that's, and that's because I was excited to get it in. I'm getting free cases from a couple different companies. I'm excited to show off those cases and I'm still gonna do that. Um, so I'm still excited. I'm just a little concerned in the areas that I'm needing. That's all, that's all I'm trying to express. All right, everybody, peace, God bless. Little music, I'm gonna go park it. And as you see me drive out of the customer lot here, should lose a little bit of the light. Peace. Woo, that glare. All right, God bless everyone. Have a great day on your Saturday, my Tuesday. A lot of work ahead. It's going to be a nice day today. That means a lot of barbecues. Ooh, in the dark. Look at that. I'm out. Peace.